Twisted Sniper 42 here, at Sniper Scale Models. Um, this is just a quick kit review on the 75 Rickmast Remington Thunderbird uh, Revel Monogram kit. Um, gives you a bit of information on on the car and the season. Uh, the paints you need, obviously a, a side on view on the ends. Again, we've got a side on view, for, but from the front. Uh, skill level three. Uh, a bit of energy and detail, and what the innards of the car will look like. And obviously on the front, as we all know, the man himself, and just a front view. So let's get into it. Let's get rid of that. What we got here? There we go. Right. Come on, there we go. Right, this glass is separate, but on top, uh, side vents are molded in. Uh, is it a bit? Hmm. I don't know if that's scratch or dust. Uh, it's a little bit, a little scratched. But then it's been rubbing around in the box for God knows how long, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, what else we got in here? Uh, a couple of bits have fallen off. We got the tyres, which are quite hard. Uh, these ones are good, yeah, good year eagles. Uh, raised detail on one side. Um, on the other is just basically plain. So I imagine there must be some decals for this that are actually. Um, For the tyres, again we have there's a couple of, one of the bits, a couple of bits have fallen off somewhere in the box. Um, radiator intake headers, uh, air filter, carb, a few other bits and pieces. I'll put that to one side so I don't lose it. It's going to be quick. Uh, what should we do? Should we open the bag? Should we open the bag? Should I lose it? Should we open the bag? Yeah, let's open the bag. So we've got the body first, uh, a little bit of flash on it, uh, a bit of scratching but then it's been rubbing in the, in the bag so it doesn't surprise me, uh, what's it like, mm, that's pretty good actually, there's literally no warping on that at all, that's good, uh, some mould lines, yeah it's not bad, not bad. Uh, what else we got? So we have the netting for the window and part of the roll cage and chassis assembly there. Uh, headers, uh, one of the uh, ducts for the uh, window in there as well. Sorry if I keep going out of camera, guys. A uh, little bit of flash on it. Not bad. I'm not going to grumble. Not going to grumble at all. Um, again, on here we have the opposite side, uh, with the rear bumper, uh, the rims, which are not chromed, which that's nice. I might even be able to drill those out, maybe. But they're nice. I like those. They look quite sweet on um, a couple of other builds, but we'll see. Um, I will be using these obviously for this anyway, um, but yeah, not bad. I'm quite surprised. I thought it'd be a lot worse than it actually is, so I'm not going to complain at all. Oh, did come out of the bag. Right, what else we got? We have the floor pan. It's got some writing on the outside. That's a bit annoying, but never mind. We're sending that off. There goes a the phone. More parts of the exhaust system, drive shaft, uh, part of the chassis on the side there. Uh, what else we got? Part of the cage. What's actually sound? I can't actually 
put it in the light that says 1990 I can't see it might be an 8 so but yeah not bad not bad at all at least the inside I won't have to deal with the outside I can get rid of those couple of injector pin marks there uh, some sinks in there sorry guys if I keep going out of frame I don't mean to um, yeah quite a few injector pin marks but you know it's, it is what it is. Um, we, can get, we can deal with that. What else we've got here? We've got ooh, front bumper, fan shroud, uh, looks like more parts for the headers. Uh, this one's quite flashy though. Uh, rear pumpkin, uh, what else? More roll bars and stuff. Uh, rear deck pan, I guess that must be for the. Um, but yeah, that one's quite flashy. But again, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse, to be honest. Uh, what else we got? So look. Ah, distributor. It's unusual. Oh, I've never actually seen that before. That's quite interesting. Hmm. Uh, obviously. The other section of the pumpkin, uh, I'm guessing upper and lower arms for the uh, thingy, pedals, steering box, shocks, I'm guessing that's front and rear, the block, uh, I'm guessing those are some type of, not quite sure, steering column, uh, shifter, etc, etc, fire bottle, uh, yeah. That's not bad, not bad. What have we got here? We've got wheelbacks, dash, uh, heads, firewall, engine cover. I'm not quite sure what those holes are for. But hey, they must be there for a reason. Oh, bonnet pins. Okay, right. Uh, seat. And a couple of other little bits and pieces. Um, I mean, so does that mean that there's body pins somewhere in here on these sprues? Must be. Yeah. Anyway, we've got anything we got. A bit of guff on it. Assembly one is the engine, pretty simple. Could put my own distributor in there maybe, we'll see. Uh, suspension and chassis assembly is section two. There. Section three is the whole page and that's the chassis. Um, and interior. Again, chassis interior continued. Uh, then we go on to step five, which is uh, suspension and chassis assembly. Uh, that's continued again. Ah, so there is springs. I wasn't quite sure on that. But yeah, that's springs. Uh, then obviously you're putting the motor in there. Uh, final interior assembly we go on to. Uh, final detail, which obviously engine details, uh, oil cooler and stuff. Um, then we got these, so yes, somewhere are hood pins. Oh, they're chrome, it says. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Unless that's in there. Yeah. Oh, I see how they've done it. Right, okay. The hood pins are there, 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 and again on the opposite side with a piece in between. Yeah, I get that. Okay. I didn't see that before. Damn, they're small. I could fill the holes and put photo edits, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so back onto it. Clear parts. Uh, Tyres. Um, body to chassis. Roof camera. Oh, it's got a roof camera. Ah. 
So do you have to stick that on? No, there's no hole, so you don't have to stick that on. Okay, you drill it. Fair enough. And then we go on to applying the decals, which I will be using. Um, should be interesting. Day glow red. Okay. Metallic dark green. Hmm. Okay. Not quite sure what I'm going to use for that day glow red. I'll have to look. I'll have to look and see what that is. Uh, maybe a paint I'll have to uh, purchase, or it might have to be a real bright red. I do have a uh, zero paints Ferrari red, which is quite bright. So maybe I could use that. We'll see. Um, decal sheet, no paper on it. Hmm. So this one's got 96 on it, and yes, you get tire decals. Um, so yes, it is quite a day glow red, and I don't know how the hell I'm going to match that one. We'll have to see. Um, I'm not sure if those are actually meant to be that off-white colour, whether they're meant to be white-white, which may, may, maybe means either a new decal sheet, or try and put it in the window and see what happens. But they, because the paper's pretty good, so I'm guessing they look that colour. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we won't. They'll probably be alright. I mean, it's more of a, it doesn't really matter. It's going on top of the green anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we'll see how that comes out. That should be interesting. Anyway, guys, um, that's a quick just run through it. Um, this will be the, probably the, this is is the second one that I've ever built. <coughs> um, the last one was a long, long time ago, and you know, it was just uh, you buy it, you throw it together, and uh, you paint it, and that was it. You know. Days gone by when you're a tr you know younger, young adult, and uh, you don't know any better. I suppose you're first into it, so you just you know want to get them done, don't you? But not bad. Uh, seam lines and stuff. It's all standard, you know, all standard. Um, I'm not going to grumble at all, to be honest. Um, it's not bad. I've seen worse. The only thing are that the injector pin marks. Um, I'm not quite sure. Some are raised and some are yeah, indented. So I don't. That looks like it's a little bit unusual on there. It's like an, an outside sink mark, but it's obviously just the way plastic's been formed, but. Won't have to get rid of that because that'll be underneath the transmission. But yeah, this is not bad, not bad. I might attempt to either drill out or sand off the backs of these rims to get so you can see the uh, the D the D pattern. Um, but they're quite nice. I like those. Uh, I'm looking forward to this to be honest. Uh, hmm. no, same old, same old scene, but you know, it is what it is. You can't get away from that, they have to be moulded somehow, so... Yep. Right, quick look. Um, you're probably getting bored of me now having a look at this, but, you know... Jets have been marked there, that's alright. Uh, all in all, it's not bad. A bit of scuffing, but... It'll be alright. Let's just hope that um, it goes together okay. Uh, should be interesting. I can't tell whether this chassis has got any water to it because it's still on the uh, sprue. But I'm sure the body's good, so. Tiny bit. Make a bit more than I thought. <laughs> but that could be the tabs as well. No. So it's got a little bit of warp to it. But then let's face it, um, what, what one of these. Uh, 90s kits don't have a bit of warpage and a bit of you know 
and not fantastic. So, yeah, anyway, guys, um, I've bored you enough for the last God knows how long. Uh, God's sakes, 15 minutes. I'm really sorry about jabbering on for that long, guys. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, this is, it will be, oh, nearly lost that part there. God, I don't want to lose that, do I? Right, put that back in the box. So, yeah, as he throws the box about, that's what I'm building, guys, for the uh, NASCAR group build. Um, but again, it won't be started probably until I finish the Pro Street build. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, build strong. Uh, thanks for all you guys subbing me and uh, my new subs. Um, really appreciate it. Um, I'm not that far off the 500 now, I don't think. So that's great. Uh, never thought I'd get this far anyway. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys. Um, enjoy, enjoy your builds, enjoy your company, and uh, the few of you that I do chat to over email and stuff. Um, yeah, great. I really enjoy it. So anyway, guys, I've bored you enough. Um, this is Twisted Sniper. And I'm out of here, guys. See you later.